That's tonight on KCAL News at 11 on CBS Los Angeles. Okay, it is, uh, what, September 21st? I was going to do the Earth, Wind, and Fire song, do you remember? But it was the 20th of September, right? I so that know. was yesterday, but, but anyway. <laughs> you know, sometimes the autumnal equinox does hit on the 20th and 20th. We should have done that yesterday. Right. We but forgot. There we go. <laughs> I love it. I love it. But today's the 21st, and it's also, Pat, the first day of fall, which is also called the autumnal equinox because we get 12 hours of day and 12 hours of night. Equal parts day, equal parts night. Only happens twice a year. And this is one of them. We have the vernal equinox that happens in spring and the autumnal equinox that happens, of course, in fall, in autumn. It's the coolest day of the week, so that's appropriate. Wait, today's Thursday. Pat, I apologize. Tomorrow's the first day of fall. I thought today was Friday. <laughs> that's okay. You know what? It's been one of those weeks. Absolutely. Right? <laughs> but we're, you know what? We're in the right month. <laughs> we're in the right month, okay? As a day off. Here, what I was trying to say is, you know, sometimes it hits on the 20th, the 21st, the 22nd. Yeah. yeah. So I apologize. I got ahead of myself. That's okay. I did. <laughs> Thank you. Apology accepted. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for understanding. Because it starts tomorrow. Today is the coolest day of the week. Tomorrow, the reason I caught myself is because I knew all along, all week, that we were going to actually warm up on the first day of fall, and we still are. We're warming up on the first day of fall, but today temperatures really bottomed out. We're looking at numbers 15 to 23 degrees below normal for this time of year. Wind advisories for the Antelope Valley until 9 p.m. and a slow warming trend beginning on Friday. So let's take a closer look at our forecast right here, and you will see mostly clear skies with a little bit of that cloud cover rolling back in. It's just not going to be as dense as where it's been the last few days. As we get a look at temperatures, well, tomorrow we're going to still see on the cooler side. Remember, even though we warm up, we're still keeping temperatures below average for this time of year. 75 in Pasadena, 74 in Burbank, 71 in Malibu. And as we get a peek at the weekend forecast, you'll see 80s both Saturday and Sunday. That's going to be for the IE. So we're still looking at a very warm weekend on our hands. But overall, we're, like, we're leaving temperatures below average for this time of year, at least for the next week. As we get a look at my seven day forecast right here for the basin in Orange County, you'll see numbers mostly in the 70s for the rest of the week, even though we're flirting with the 80s by the time we head into the weekend. Yes, we are getting a little warmer and we'll see a little more cloud cover for tomorrow for the valleys and then 80s by the weekend and next week as well for the IE 70s turning to 80s and finally checking in with one more seven day forecast for the beaches We're in the 70s for the next seven days with overnight and morning low clouds and fog clearing by the afternoon. So again, just to clarify, tomorrow is the first day of fall, the autumnal equinox. Right. Yep, September 22nd. But you Today, know, still summer. Today is uh, my good friend's birthday, <gasps> Auntie J. Auntie J, I know Auntie Happy J. Happy birthday, Auntie J. <laughs> Happy birthday, Auntie J. Oh, we love you. Happy birthday, I hope it's a special one. And I hope you enjoy fall tomorrow and your birthday, the 21st. It's a very special day today. Thanks, Ev. <laughs> L.A., you can now catch CBS Mornings from 4 to 6. And if you didn't catch us then, we're back from 7 to 9. Four hours of CBS Mornings from 4 to 6 and 7 to 9. Everything your morning should be. KCAL News, now weekday mornings from 4 to 11. CBS News Los Angeles, your local news, streaming wherever, whenever.